So it looks like in our um, group we usually have a relatively broad submission in all the applications of light in biology and medicine. So we not call it a trend, but it's a it's an unholding trend of having relatively strong submissions in the microscopy groups. We have regular submissions in trapping and many, many other fields uh, encompassing these subjects. One of the, the big applications in biology and medicine is the preclinical imaging and microscopy. And that has been the case for quite a few years in this conference, so that most papers have been submitted in microscopy, nonlinear imaging type applications. I would assume that all this nonlinear imaging is actually a, a very hot topic currently. Um, I would hope that uh, many attendees would also like to go to some newer fields that we are presenting. This time we have a special uh, session just on therapy and light, using light to guide therapy, also to monitor therapy. We have the first time a session just on optical coherence imaging with a whole tutorial. I'd like to mention some of the additional sessions we're going to have, like on trapping and uh, biosensing. We had uh, strong submissions in trapping almost every year and have quite a few invited speakers. Trapping usually used to manipulate micro droplets, mix samples, and there's quite some development in doing this fast, so you can move many drops, you can manipulate many samples at once. Um, there's also some presentations on new optical traps by engineering light beams by using uh, cavities, specially designed cavities to trap, so there will be very interesting uh, publications or presentations on this. I'd like to come back one more time on the therapy and, and light. We will have an invited talk on this. I will specifically talk about how light can be used to activate drugs, how we can deliver light and better deliver light to different areas inside the body, but uh, also use the optical properties to better deliver that light and to improve our uh, therapy. I already mentioned that there will be talks on uh, chemotherapy response, which more and more in optical imaging we will not just use imaging to detect disease but also to monitor once we treat the disease. So it will be a new field which more and more effort will be put on. Um, to my knowledge we also have presentation on detecting osteoporosis with spectroscopy or at least detecting the health of, of bone. That uh, will be quite interesting. Um, in biosensing overall we have quite a few talks where we just try to detect biomolecules. Um, not necessarily like in, in human beings or in animals, just isolated biomolecules. There are new techniques in making sensors to detect those, detect very small quantities on biomolecules and also using different types of light to analyze those biomolecules.